Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to make another video, uh, just doing another update and kind of giving you guys um, some information about what I'm doing right now. And yeah, I buzzed all my hair off because I wanted to get my skin underneath my beard, some some time to to heal and get all cleaned out. Um, but basically, what I'm doing right now, kind of an experiment, is I'm eating fully raw vegan right now and the reason why I'm doing this is because I've seen a lot of videos about people talking about how they've overcome like candida and just a lot of health issues like chronic fatigue and all these different things and so I'm basically I'm trying it out I've been raw not fully raw, but I've eaten, there's been times, especially last summer when I was eating a lot of raw, uh, never fully raw for a long amount of time, but yeah, so I'm giving it a try. I, I wasn't really planning on doing it longer, but um, this is kind of the story. So yesterday, I had my mom uh, get a, a whole case of bananas uh, like the 40 pound box of bananas and I've had some other fruit um, but I waited till they are ripe and the first day yesterday uh, when I had I ate like five or six bananas in the morning um, pretty well spotted but I got a pretty strong reaction to it like either my blood sugar or like a candida problem uh, I was like shaky really shaky and warm kind of sweaty uh, and actually my tongue became super de duper coated uh, which tells me like coated in white which tells me that I do have a candida is issue or something like that so that it didn't feel good and I kept eating bananas and I kind of got a headache and my joints ached more than usual and so I, it didn't feel good and by the end of the day um, I didn't feel good at all I'd eaten enough calories probably like probably like mid 20s in bananas and some other fruit so probably not 3,000 calories uh, which I probably don't need right now because I'm not exercising at all but definitely enough and I felt I felt awful but at the same time, there was like a hint of like more mental clarity than I had before and a little bit less like anxiety and just like, I don't know, just not all like scared of the world, um, which may not make sense. So this morning I woke up, I didn't sleep very well, uh, which isn't uncommon for me right now but I didn't sleep very well and I woke up and I was like okay like I probably shouldn't keep eating the this fruit like obviously I have candida problems obviously I should maybe I should start eating a high fat diet or something like that and then I was kind of I was looking through the cupboard and I was like oh I don't have any like really if I was going to eat high fat I wouldn't have anything to eat um, and what I have been eating recently is like a lot of potatoes and I haven't been feeling good at all on those. I think that, I don't know, just the like the cooked potatoes, obviously. Um, I don't know. It's I think it's been making my blood sugar issues worse um, and anxiety worse. Um, just because, I don't know, I, I think that the sugar in those, the fact that they weren't, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on obviously but yeah so I started to cook some potatoes and then I was like oh I've been feeling like crap eating potatoes and I still have like probably 70 ripe bananas that are ready to eat and I was I was thinking like there's no way that I would feel good one day like on the first day of just eating raw like there's no way if I have a candida issue like there's no way that one day is gonna 
I'm going to feel amazing. And so, and before, like, I ate anything during the day today, my mind was, it was much clearer. And my mind was, so, like, way quieter than it had been for so long that it really got me thinking, like, well, maybe I should continue to eat all these bananas and all this raw food. And so I was cooking the potatoes, cooking the potatoes, then I ate an apple, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I even put a bunch of the bananas in the freezer. I didn't peel them, but I put them in the freezer um, because I was, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna eat them anymore. And so I, what I did, I decided I was gonna eat the raw food, and so I took the bananas out of the freezer, and they were all cold and stuff, so I let them heat up. I already had some bananas that weren't in the freezer, but basically, I'm eating fully raw, and I don't know. I think that it, I, it's interesting. My tongue is still, there's gonna be gross. Like, my tongue is still getting coated and stuff like that, but I do notice uh, more mental clarity, and I do notice more energy than I have had. Um, not not like running marathons or anything, um, but I do notice some more mental clarity, and I feel a little bit better than I did the first day. And I I just remember watching videos where people are like, it took it could take like a few days or even a few weeks for Candida to get totally killed by a raw food diet. And so part of me is like, well, frick, let's just experiment. Like, now is the time. So I'm still doing it. And today's the second day. It's getting towards the end of the day, and I've probably eaten this seven-minute long video. I've eaten enough food for sure for the day. I'm going to eat a little bit more later. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And... If things are growing better, then I'll probably make another video at the end of like in another few days and kind of update how that's going. But I really think that this has really shown me that I have some like serious candida issues, like for real, like crazy. So that's that. I want to make this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Seven minutes, 42 seconds. Yeah, we'll see what raw veganism does for me right now. And yeah, I'm not going to go on any longer. Peace.